Hello everybody. Um so God I look horrible. Um okay, so my UDL project is um focuses on the beginning sounds. So I would represent this in my reading center. And um I believe it could be used with children who have um you know, multiple disabilities, whether they're physical or they are learning disabled, um, and also can be used for children that don't have any disabilities. I think it's accommodable um, for any kind of child. Uh, but basically, um, I would have a center set up with um, different bags with objects in them. So, for example, I've got some bags that have some multiple things in here and um, for example like this week we're learning about the letters B, S, and C. So basically I um, got some bags and I put some objects in there that start with their specific letters. So for example I have a bag the S bag, I have a spoon, a sock, and some soap. So, um, they can take it out, they can feel it, they can smell it. Um, I would advise them not to eat it, obviously, because it's probably not going to taste very good. Um, and they'd have to, sit, you know, think about what they're feeling or what they're looking at and say the word. And then I would have letters um, on the table. And then... Um, they would have to tr uh, find the letter that goes along with the bag they have. Um, and if a person can't see, they could easily trace the letters, each of the letters, to find which one goes with their bag. Um, the principles specified that um, your activity has to rep have to have multiple meanings of representation, which I felt that my activity is represented in multiple ways. Um, you can actually physically see the object and you can feel it, you can smell it. Um, and then the other principle that it talks about is um, the multiple means of action and expression. So, um, you know, even with children who can't really speak that well, they would still be able to identify the object and traced the letter with their finger to find the letter that it goes with. Um, and the third one is trying to find multiple means of interaction. Oh gosh. Oh, multiple means of engagement, excuse me. Um, obviously, it's an engaging activity. They're doing something. They're taking the stuff out of the bag. They're, you know, t taking one of the objects and looking at it, um, you know, one at a time. And then they're identifying the letter that it goes with. Um, and they're saying it out loud, well, you know, the object's out loud. Um, I think this is a great activity. You know, it's 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 easy 
um, and it's interactive in multiple ways. Um, obviously, I would like every child in the group to do each of the the bags. Um, I I do I would do like three to four you know bags with three. It depends on what letters we were working on that week, obviously. But yeah, so that's it. Um, hopefully that works. Thanks.